If you're looking for the cheapest coins in Madden 23, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure to use code WOLF for 3% off. Link is in the description. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a classic play that people love to use versus Madden defense in Madden 23. Ever since the update with elite receivers and how they leave uh, Madden defensive players behind, if your receiver is elite, he's going against someone that's not elite, he's probably going to cook them most of the time. So we're going to talk about that today. Make sure you guys drop a like. Check out the schemes in the members area. The Wild Trio Week full breakdown is in there. The dollar three two full breakdown stuff that pros use. Some of the best players in the game are using these formations. The tight offset tight end full scheme is in the members area. The four six normal, which I'm going to do gameplay with this weekend. So stay tuned for that because it is a really good defense, man. After labbing it in Madden 23, I've come to realize that that four six defense is actually pretty good this year. So we're going to be in the bunch offensive formation. Personnel is key. You want your best route runner right here where I have D hop and then your fast is on the outside. If it's both and you put your second best on the outside, your first is always going to go right here where D hop is. So remember your best medium route runner will go right here because the name of the play we're going to talk about today, if I can find it, is the bunch trail classic play, man. People love it. Uh, you'll see why. Now, people like to run cover one a lot, so you're going to see a lot of that online. And the setup is simple. You can do whatever you want with X. You can go ahead and put him on an in route if you want. Does not matter. Um, I'm going to block the running back as well, so I'm going to have an in route. And then I'm going to take B, and I'm just going to put him on a zig route. Now, the three routes we're looking for, we actually have three routes. We have the zig, we have the corner route, and we have the trail route, which is the tight end. Now, what I like to do is when I snap the ball, if I see Hopkins getting that leverage over the top, Bro, I'm going to hit him on that corner route and go up the field. It just depends on what they give you as far as the defense goes. Okay. So we snap the ball. See, he's leaving him. This is what I want to see. This is ever since the update. This is what's happened in Madden now. Okay. These elite receivers are going to cook man defense. Sometimes the man defense does stick though. It's, it's like RNG, right? It's it's like a, a lottery. So we're going to do the same thing. In route, block the running back, zig route. I'm going to pay attention if... D hop gets above the guy that's on him on mad defense and I'm going to hit him. He doesn't. He stays back. I'm going to look at this one. If not, then I'm going to hit my trail route. I didn't have time there, but let me show you what was happening. Let me show you the progression. OK, so you guys can see it. The pass rush is just insane. It's just something that happens in the game now. OK, so first read is I'm going to once he snaps the ball, if this guy's backing up early, then he's over the top coverage. I know. Be careful. The corner route's not going to get open. See, so right out at the snap of the ball, I'm looking at his feet. OK, backpedaling. Next thing I do is I come over here. Is my zig route going to cook? No, they're playing outside coverage too on this man defense. So what does this leave me with? This leaves me with my tight end going over the top. He's already cooking this guy that's on him. Okay, so right here, it's just I didn't have the time, but he would have been wide open over here by himself. So you see the progression with this play. Zig block the running back like this. D hop gets over it. He doesn't. Boom. Again, same, same exact thing as the last one. I come over here to my tight end. And all else fails, you try to roll out, get some yards. Just depends on where the user is at as well. But I'm giving you guys the optimal plays that pros like to use. Man. These are some of the best ones that you can be using. Right here, we know it's D-Hop all by himself over here because the guy's actually sitting low. And that's what you want to see. You want to look at that. That's very important that you look at that part of, of the play because that's your actual money play. Block the running back. Like I said, you could do the reason I put X on the in route is because it forces the three wreck and a cover one to stay low. And then my tight end can get above him. Prioritization is key. All right, we're trying to free him up as much as we can. Again, same thing. He gets above him. You see that? He tries to press him, gets above him, and now he's over here by himself. Now, we could probably get D Hop the to touchdown if we streak X. So, what we can do is we can actually bring X in, streak him and run this. Now, the problem with this is the three red hook. Okay, so we have to see, okay, there goes D hop is gonna get above him right over the top. I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw this, position myself for the catch, but that's just me being a passer, okay? You don't wanna do that if you don't have the complete leverage. Trust me, don't be that guy. So let's go ahead and uh, motion him in. Streak X, zig route, see what happens. There goes D hop, this is what we wanna see. We want to catch and run and go up the sideline and go for the end zone. So you're seeing how many more yards we're getting by streaking the guy on the left. Let me show you what's happening so you guys that are newer to Madden can have an understanding of what I'm doing. So what I'm trying to do is to keep this blue honest. He's the cover one uh, beat blue. 
And what we do by motioning him into streaking is it forces him to stay honest with his own coverage. You see how he has to backpedal straight in the middle because he realizes, oh damn, there's a threat over here, but then there's a threat over here, but I'm too late over here so I can get up the field. If I don't do that, okay, let's just put him on the end route like I was doing. I'm gonna throw the corner route regardless if it's covered or not. It's covered, I'm gonna throw it anyway so I can show you guys what's happening now. Dotties, well, he actually didn't catch that. Come on, man. Um, without a, a streak on the left side, this guy can actually float to the right of the screen. He doesn't have to prioritize the middle of the field. You see how he's over here now? It's all, it's all about spacing in this game. If you have the spacing down, bro, like you understand how to manipulate defenses, you're gonna be all right. I don't know why I snapped the ball. That's my fault. Now, that is another thing you can do, okay? You can actually run the mesh concept from this play if you want, but I would recommend you put B on a real streak, and then I would take X and put him on a streak, and then I would run it that way. So you can actually run the mesh style concept and look for your drags. So like right here, it'll be X. We overthrew that because we were under pressure, but you can run that as well. You can even motion him in to get him a little bit of a head start. So dragging this guy, make sure he uh, sets his feet on anything that you do in this game, Make sure that someone's setting their feet, okay? You can run it this style if you want and try to get leverage on the from the inside over here and then you can hit X, catch and run. So you can run that variation within the same play if you want. However, the ones that I find more successful are the setups that I use. So your base setup is going to be the in route, the block running back with the zig route. And then you wanna look at D hop, boom. I can get over that, but I have A as well over here. We're under pressure again. Inaccurate bullet pass because the pass rush is insane. It's worse in practice mode than it is in game, to be honest with you guys. In practice mode, the pass rush, it's always been that way in every Madden. So if you wanna like lab your own schemes, do it in practice mode, man, because you're gonna be forced to throw quick reads. That's just the way it goes in this game. Now you could run the a flood style concept within this play. If, I'll show you how to run it real quick, I guess. Assuming they're running cover three. Cover three is tricky because you have to motion out the outside receiver okay it has he has to come out and go on a street and then you want to take a and put him on a flat okay so this is how you really want to run it and the reason for that is is the outside third let me show you what i mean let me bring him back and keep him on a street now if my memory serves me correct in cover three with this newer mat and that outside third doesn't have to jump the streak the middle third will so he can sit low and wait for your corner up okay so here we go Let's try to throw this corner out. You see, he's sitting low waiting for the corner out. Now he's there. If you provide a clear out with the streak and motion him out, well, he can't sit there no more. Now we have our fast wide receivers sending him in that direction. So we snap the ball, he's gone, opens up RB like this, okay? Now what I would recommend, and this is how I like to throw him in Madden 23, is I'm gonna flip the play if it's cover three, all right? I'm gonna streak X and I'm motion them out, and I'm gonna run my corner out this way to the short side of the field. This is how I'm gonna do it. I mean, feel free to do it how you want, but this is how I'm gonna do it because getting to the sidelines a lot quicker, everything happens a lot faster, and the user is barely on that side trying to guard corner routes. They're usually on the wide side of the field. You know what I mean? So remember that against cover three. Now, obviously, the proper, the proper way to run this is if you have your flat, you take it. So as he steps back, I have my flat, I take it. That's just what I'm gonna do every single time. I'm not gonna sit there with a pass rush that, the way it is in Madden 23. I'm not gonna sit there waiting, right? If I get my flat, I'm gonna go for my flat. Now the same idea, the same rules apply to cover two, it's just you don't have to motion out B. You get a streak, put the flat, and then run a flood style concept right here to the right side of the field. You can put X on a smart route in route as a bell out because sometimes the users like to be out there or they like to set up Mabel's. And if they do set up a Mabel, what I would recommend you do is running a, le a levels concept like this. So you'll have your flood with your levels on the left side. So this concept is nasty, trust me. You can always come underneath to these lower routes right here, you know what I mean? No matter what, because you're separating the defense properly. So use this to your advantage, man. A bunch of stuff in here that's just key, you know what I mean? Make sure you're making your proper progressions, looking for that corner route, looking at the snap of the ball in man defense if Hopkins gets over his defender. If he doesn't, then you know to look for your zig or your trail route. All else fails, you run, throw the X route, just bell, bro. You know what I'm saying? Drop a like, love you guys, man. Peace.